students today we are starting our unit 3 elasticity any body can be deformed by applying some force deforming in the sense changing the shape of the body so in this first video you are seeing i am trying to deform a ball when i remove the deforming forces the ball regain its original shape back in some bodies restoring forces develop and the bodies can regain their shape back they are called elastic bodies so the definition goes like this elasticity is the property of the body by which it can regain its original shape back after deforming forces are removed in nature there is no perfect elastic or plastic body nearest approach to perfect elastic body is quartz fiber and examples of plastic bodies molten wax wet clay chewing gum wall putty etc in the second video you can say i am trying to deform a scale and the scale regain its original shape back now let us try to define stress stress is defined as deforming force per unit area the units are dyne per centimeter square in general the direction of stress is inclined to the area on which it acts so we can resolve stress into two components normal stress perpendicular to the area noted as sigma shearing stress acting in the plane of the area noted as tau students now let me explain you the normal stress and shearing stress with this diagram let us consider a cubical element let us define the x axis y axis and z axis something like this now for the side of the element perpendicular to the x axis the normal component of stress is denoted as sigma x let me show you now this is sigma x similarly this is sigma y and this is sigma z remember normal stress is taken as positive when it produces tension negative when it produces compression so if a normal stress just is as in the case shown here if it is trying to expand this cube it is taken as positive if the cube is getting compressed by some stress then that normal stress is negative let me also show you the shearing stress in this very diagram shearing stress is in the plane of the area noted as tau so the two components of shearing st stress on this face one is tau xy the other is tau xz the two subscript letters are used the first indicating the direction of the normal to the plane under consideration and the second indicating the direction of the component of stress 
shearing stress on any side of the cubic element is positive if the tensile stress on the same side has positive direction of the corresponding axis. Now in this example, sigma x is in the positive direction of x axis. So tau xy, tau xz are positive. Now let me also show you the normal stress on this opposite face of the cube. This is also notated as sigma x. Now even this is positive because it tries to expand the cube. Let me also show you the shearing stresses on this face. Now this is tau xy and this is tau xz. Now these two are negative because sigma x is in the negative x direction. Students, now in this diagram, all the components of stresses, both normal and shearing, on various faces of the cube are indicated. Note that tau xy is equal to tau yx, tau yz is equal to tau zy, tau xz is equal to tau zx. So, six components sigma x, sigma y, sigma z, the normal stresses and the shearing stresses tau xy which is equal to tau yx, tau yz which is equal to tau zy and tau xz also equal to tau zx are sufficient to describe stress. Students, now let us try to understand what is strain and the components of strain. Strain is defined as the ratio of change in any dimension to its original dimension. So it may be change in length, area or volume. Remember, strain is a dimensionless quantity. It has no units. Just like stress, strain is also classified into normal strain notated as epsilon and shearing strain notated as gamma. To understand, let us first take the figure 1 where you see an element AB of length delta x. Imagine this element was distorted or deformed to a dash b dash. So the displacement in the point a is u and the displacement in the point b is u plus dou u by dou x into delta x. Now the change in the length to its original length is dou u by dou x. This is the strain caused in the element AB. Now referring to the figure 2, let me consider uh, an element ABCD which is deformed to A dash, B dash, C dash, T dash. So in this deformation process, the displacement in uh, the displacement of A in X axis is U displacement of the point A along y axis is V. Now considering the point B after deformation the displacement caused is u plus dou u by dou x into dx. Similarly the displacement in the point D after deformation is v plus dou v by dou y into dy. So we understand the strain 
in the element AB along x axis is dou u by dou x, which is notated as epsilon x. And the strain in the element AD along y axis is dou v by dou y, which is notated as epsilon y. These are called normal or longitudinal strains. Remember, the normal strain is taken as positive if there is an elongation in the element and negative when there is a contraction in the element. Students, now let us try to understand shearing strain. Let me consider an element ABCD of an elastic body as shown in this figure. Now, after deformation, the element is notated as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. Now, let the point A displaced through u in x direction and v in y direction after deformation. Now coming to the point B, the point B moved a distance of u plus dou u by dou y delta y in x direction, v plus dou v by dou y delta y in y direction. So now this angle alpha is dou u by dou y. Similarly, the point D, the point D displaced through a distance of u plus dou u by dou x delta x in x direction and v plus dou v by dou x delta x in y direction such that this angle beta is equal to dou v by dou x. So, shearing strain is the total angular change in the sense gamma xy is equal to alpha plus beta. We just learned that shearing strain is notated as gamma. So, alpha plus beta will give you this gamma. Now alpha is dou u by dou y, dou u by dou y, beta is dou v by dou x, so gamma xy is equal to dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou x. Now this shear strain is positive if the right angle between the two positive axes decreases, otherwise it is negative. So in this diagram shown, so there is a decrease in the right angle between the two positive axes. So, gamma xy is positive. Extending this to a three-dimensional problem, we have the other two kinds of shearing strain, gamma yz and gamma zx. Gamma yz is dou v by dou z plus dou w by dou y. Gamma zx is dou w by dou x plus dou u by dou z. So totally, there are six components of strain, epsilon x, epsilon y, epsilon z. These are the three normal strains and gamma xy, gamma yz and gamma zx, the shearing strains. Remember, gamma xy is equal to gamma yx, gamma yz is equal to gamma zy, gamma zx is equal to gamma xz. So students, this is the end of our lecture one. At the end of this lecture, you should be in a position to answer the following questions. The definition of stress, strain, what is normal stress, when to take it as positive and negative, what is shearing stress, when to take it positive or negative, what is normal or longitudinal strain, when to take it positive or negative, what is a shearing strain and when to take it as positive or negative. Check yourself.
we end our lecture 1 on the unit 3 elasticity thank you